Carol Galligan, and I'm a postdoctoral fellow here at the UHN in Dr. Eleanor Fish's lab. And uh, my background, I, I did my undergraduate degree in toxicology at the University of Guelph, and I stayed on there and decided to do my master's and PhD in biomedical science. And then from there, I went to the National Cancer Institute in Frederick, Maryland, and did a postdoc down there. So this is now my second postdoc here in the lab. Um, and basically, um, our lab does a lot of different things. So the primary focus of this lab is on um, interferons and the effects of interferons on antiviral. Um, but my project is actually on autoimmune diseases. And I'm looking at um, the activation of the immune system during autoimmune disease, trying to figure out what triggers an autoimmune disease to happen. Especially because autoimmune disease is very interesting that um, even in identical twins, there's only a 30% chance that both of them are going to have an autoimmune disease. So there's some kind of an environmental trigger. So we've been looking at what activates the immune system to try and figure out what triggers it. Well, research in Toronto, I mean, was one of the reasons I'm here. Um, it's really an amazing research environment because um, there's the opportunity, like the basic research you know, labs you can find almost anywhere. But here you've got that opportunity to interact with a lot of clinicians because it is a teaching hospital and that you get the opportunity to get patient samples, which really is quite a rarity. It's hard to obtain these samples and to actually be able to do this kind of translational research where you can say what's really happening in, a, you know, in the person at each point in time, at each stage of the disease. So, you know, really unique environment there. So certainly, I mean, UHN, again, uh, it's one of, you know, it, it certainly is world-class uh, research that's happening here. It's very competitive worldwide. And uh, I'd say what makes it unique, uh, again, it, it, it's just the sheer size of the institute, the sheer number of people that you can interact with, and, and the, again, the level of, of that uh, research that's being done. So again, since I've come back, we've set up a number of collaborations with different uh, researchers here. And just the ability to be able to do that kind of scale of research is, is really quite amazing. We've been using the, the STAR facility here, uh, which again is a, a world-class facility on looking at different imaging modalities and how these might um, for us, we've been trying to actually traffic the set, these, again, rare cell populations and see how do they move into the joint, when do they get there, you know, can, can we see this happening in real time? So we've been doing a lot of uh, imaging where we've done um, MRI imaging of these joints as well as CT scans looking at the bone damage and we've been actually labeling up our cells with a fluorescent tag and then we can actually watch the cells and the amount of fluorescence in the joints as it accumulates. In real time, the animals can be imaged over and over again and you can actually see this happening. So it, it's certainly an example where this couldn't be done at another institute or very few institutes in the world have this capability to actually put all of these imaging modalities together. So again, a very unique environment here at UHN. Again, Dr. Fish is, is really a strong proponent of that we should go out and you know, connect with people and go to conferences and meet, you know, meet new collaborators and share our research. So she encourages us to go to at least one international meeting a year as well as probably one local meeting a year and again on a yearly basis. So uh, the entire lab usually goes on these trips, which again also is great for the lab because it builds a lot of camaraderie between everyone in the lab as well as we get to go and meet new people and we've established a few collaborations and, and got new ideas and come back with kind of a renewed energy. So um, yeah, definitely great, a great lab to be in. So that's one of the reasons I'm still here.